at you because we we did a video in the past and we talked about growing your channel with YouTube University. And one thing we did touch touch on was the seven C's of growing your channel. And our last video was pretty long, so we wanted to make a little shorter video so we can just touch on growing your channel with the seven C's. I have been on YouTube for a while now, and uh, the reason why I started my channel is that I want to eventually publish my own books. I want to talk to you know my audience about writing good characters, uh, creating a good protagonist, creating good antagonists, or you know bad guys or whatever. But also, I want to also talk to my community about you know the journey that we are taking to be relevant. So uh, we've been doing a lot of research of growing our channel because. When, they, when Google or YouTube put out all of the things that you need to do to grow your channel, one thing they don't, they don't include is how are you going to do these, you know, these uh, experiments to get your channel going. Uh, why should somebody sit there and waste their time or their life looking at your videos? Is it something that can feed their soul? And that is why I start sitting down trying to feed my soul and looking at other pros and one pro that i that i've looked at in particular is roberto blake but i did stumble across uh two guys and that's sean and benji if you're a part of the youtube universe you would know of course their last name the last name is not coming to me right away but they did talk about something and that's the seven c's of growing your youtube channel and that's what i would like to talk about now the seven C's is courage, clarity, channel, content, community, cash, and consistency. So let's jump on in. Courage simply say, can you turn on your camera? Do you have the confidence to sit in front of your camera to be judged in a good way or a bad way so you can start this channel? Because a lot of people have insecurities and they don't want to be in front of camera, but do you have that encouragement uh, that to your own self to say, I can do this? When I first started my channel, I didn't want to be the person in front of the camera. I wanted to be the person who hit record. But as life progresses itself, if you want to grow your channel, sometimes you got to get in the frying pan and you got to fry. Whether it's a good, uh, a good frying pan or a, a bad one, you know, you will, you will find out what happens, you know, later on. So that's the courage. Courage is to turn on that camera and have the uh, appealing, uh, the appealment to say, I can do this, or the encouragement to say, I can do this. That is my opinion about uh, courage. Next, we want to talk about clarity. From the moment that you uh, hit record, or even before you hit record, what you need to realize is, you need to know what your channel is going to be about. Before I hit record on my uh, camera or my cell phone, I know that my uh, uh, channel is about education, helping people grow their channel just like I'm growing. And also, I want to talk about my character introductions uh, videos because we have quite a bit of uh, characters. And also, I want to talk about the journey that has taken us to publish our first book or our first book series. And that is what our channel is about. So if you subscribe to us, you're going to see these things. And I appreciate all of the people who have helped us become monetized. But there are other ways to make money on your YouTube channel. And we'll touch on that in this video. and We'll touch on that in many other videos. Next, we want to talk about channel. Your channel... Uh, sets the tone for you. What falls on the channel is all of the videos that you put in place, everything that you're, like your niche, if, you know, what are you going to be about? That's what channel. Also, Google, uh, YouTube has a lot of things in the back end that you need to understand so your channel can grow. What kind of tags you're, you're using, what type of um, a description you put in place, your title. A lot of those things uh, YouTube have put in place to help you grow. 
So please understand that these things are in place and you need to go in the back end of your site and start experimenting and see what these different buttons mean. In the back of your channel, you could put tags, uh, channel tags back there. So Google, I mean, I keep saying Google, but you know, that's YouTube, uh, uh, you know, YouTube big brothers, Google. But so YouTube know where to place your videos. So your channel and understanding the back end of your uh, content creator area will help you grow. You know, your tags is very important. Choosing the right tags is important. So, you know, you can go on tagsyoutube.com to find out what, you know, high volume tags to that will help you. So, you know, please go on the back end of your YouTube channel as an administrator and start getting more entwined, you know, with your uh, YouTube uh, channel. Next, we want to talk about content. What you need to understand is content is king as far as you growing. If you are a person that's a chef and you're showing people all about your food, that is the content that your subscribers would like to see. Come up with different recipes, come up with different ideas, so your audience will come back for more because you are doing something to entertain them while they're wasting their time. You know, we all got a certain time in this lifetime and content is king. If somebody want to waste their time on your videos, then they, it needs to be something there. You need to understand that your thumbnail, your title, your description, along with the video, all that falls under content because that's giving a person a reason to hit that button to look at your video. If they hitting the button and doing an immediate U-turn, that means that your content wasn't appealing and you know they found some other way to waste their time. So you need to have the best thumbnails that you can do. You need to have the best video that you can make. Your title need to be there. Your description need to be there. Uh, use software like vidIQ in the bottom of my description. I will have a link how you can sign up for vidIQ or TubeBuddy that will help you in your YouTube SEO so you can rank higher in YouTube. The higher you rank, then YouTube will recommend you how you can even compete against subscribers with 100,000 subscribers or 400,000 subscribers. You could be at 1,000 a, a uh, subscribers, and if your content is king, YouTube will pitch you against other high volume content creators. Please understand that. Content that came. Let's go to the next uh, C, and that's community. Your community are the people that subscribe to your channel. That means that if you start off making videos about baking cakes, or you start off by making videos about sharing recipes, then you need to keep that same energy and keep your community fed by good content, but you know, keep your niche in track. Don't come off saying, oh, my video is about baking, and then now you're talking about catching fish. Unless you catching the fish and going to cook that fish, that's one thing, but if you started out, you know, baking or cooking, then, you know, that's what your videos need to be about. If you got a video about catching fish, create another channel, monetize it, and do it that way. So keep that in mind. The next uh, um, C we want to talk about is cash. Cash is very important. I know some people say that they love to do YouTube because they love making videos, and that's all cool. But if you want to grow in YouTube, you need to make some kind of cash. You're going to need better equipment. You're going to need microphones. You're going to need to possibly hire people to hold that camera one day to help you edit the videos because the more videos you make, you might have videos of production, somebody to do your thumbnails. You're going to have to pay people. So, yes, I, in my opinion, cash is important. I didn't start my channel only to make cash. No, I started my channel because I said, if I publish a book and I got five people buying my book, I'm not very successful in my eyesight. It's a success because I publish a book, 
But if I publish the book, I want a plethora of people buying my book. So I said, let me do my character introductions. Let me do different type of things to bring in the type of uh, audience that I want to look at my books and, and keep me going where I need to go. So keep that in mind. Cash is important. Some people say it's not important. They'll do it for the fun. But you, if you're using your cell phone, you got to pay your cell phone bill. If you're using some kind of internet, you got to pay the internet bill. You know, you got to have good software. If your computer go down, you got to have, a, you know, a new computer so you can keep editing your videos. So you need money to produce better videos and to be better. So that's just my opinion. You can make money from your videos. And I will touch on another video on how you can make money even if you are not monetized. You need to change your mind that you have to be monetized to make money. YouTube is set up to make money in different arenas. And I will touch on that video soon. And next, I want to talk about consistency. If you plan and schedule at a, a good pace, you can upload anywhere from two to four videos a week. That's what I recommend so you don't get burnt out trying to do a video a day. Some people try to do a video a day. And the people that probably could do more videos a day are the people that's in gaming. Because if you're doing a game and you own your game every day, you could go live every day if you monetize. And then now you're feeding your audience. And you can make money by going live. You can get money by recommending things. So keep that in mind. That the more you are consistent in, in uploading a video, people will come. Your subscribers will up increase, but you're going to need each seed to attach to each, each other so you can grow your channel. I didn't want this to make this a long drawn out video, but this is some of the things that we talked about in a longer video we did called Growing Your YouTube Channel with YouTube Universe. And I just want to talk about the seven seeds that we mentioned in that video so we can make it a little more simpler. So when you're looking at some of the things that I said, you can start applying these things and growing your channel as well. Once again, this is Antonio with Team Tigio. We will see you soon in another video.